Ready, down, put, 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 put. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And welcome to another edition of On the Line of Scrimmage, our debate show, where we go back and forth debating key topics, and we let you, the fans, vote at the bottom of the video. Now, today's contestant is our own coaching analyst, Lehman Anderson, the coach himself. We're going to debate the topic, is Tom Brady overrated or underrated? And Lehman, it's always a pleasure to have you on. And I'm a, as always, I'm going to kick it off to you first. I'm going to let you go. You play defense, and I'll play defense first. So I'm going to ask you, why do you think Tom Brady is overrated? Uh, <clears throat> in my throat for this. Tom Brady is overrated because I hate the Patriots. No, I'm just saying. I do hate the Patriots, but I do think he is overrated. <clears throat> I'm not going to say he's not a good quarterback or one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but I will say that if you go down and your backup quarterback comes in for a whole season and put up the same stats that you put up, it's going to take away from your glory. That, that, that's the first thing I, 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 why I think he's overrated. And the second thing is he playing for the best, one of the best strategic coaches in the NFL. You know, and that, that's pretty much what, that, those are my first two reasons why he's overrated. Well, okay, just to knock down your one point, the first one about Matt Castle, let's not forget who was on that team, Randy Moss. And he can make anybody look good. I can go out there and go 29 touchdowns and maybe nine intercepts. You know what I'm saying? I do a good, pretty good job of protecting the football, but they had Randy Moss on that football team. And second, when you look at a guy that they think is better than Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, I think Peyton Manning is overrated. Tom Brady has put so many people's children in college. Why? He's made money for all these no-name wide receivers that he's had over the course of his career. Peyton Manning has had first-round picks every year. Tom Brady never had a first-round pick at wide receiver to be successful. Always some other team's free agents or a lower pick that are, that are come in and make, and, uh, make plays. So Tom Brady hasn't had the talent that Peyton Manning has had. And so you give Tom Brady, Randy Moss, you saw what happened. They break records, go undefeated. <clears throat> yeah, they, 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 they broke the records, but it's still the system. It's still a system. Drew Bledsoe came out, insert Tom Brady, three Super Bowl rings. Three, four Super Bowl rings. Mm -hmm. Take out Tom Brady, insert Ryan Mallett. They, 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 the, the system is never going to stop. It's a system they got in New England. Tom Brady, all you need is a smart quarterback to run that system. And Tom Brady is probably the smartest quarterback that came through New England in forever. And so you insert him in that system. He's going to get all the glory for what's going on. So he, he, he might be putting up numbers. But it's ridiculously numbers and it's over skewed because of the way NFL is right now. When it's, it's, a, it's a quarterback driven league. That's why I think he is overrated. He'll never be compared to, in my book, Joe Montana, who had to do it to get hit. You know, he doesn't get hit. So I'm, they have a real good team. I'm not going to take that away from him. But Matt Council came in and did the same thing. Even though he had Randy Moss, he still put up the exact same numbers. Exact same numbers. But they didn't make the Super Bowl until Tom Brady got back. Why? Because Tom Brady is one of those guys, just like Eli Manning, whom I think is better in certain situations than Peyton Manning. You see where I'm going with my argument. But when Tom Brady gets in those clutch situations, he doesn't fold. That's the difference between him and Peyton. That's what makes him, in my opinion, more like a, a guy like Joe Montana and less like a guy like Dan Marino, who I think Peyton Manning would be like in, uh, if I was to compare the two. So I think Brady has that quote-unquote it factor more so than Manning. Yeah, you're right. He does. Have it. That's a really good comparison. Uh, Montana to Marino. And that's it. That, and I would put it like that too. But he's still in that system. I don't think Brady would be able to strive in any other kind of system than what he's in right now. That 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 crossing patterns. Because, I mean, yeah, he has, he's accurate. I'll give him that. But he doesn't make that throw. He doesn't make that throw that just amazes you. He just puts up numbers. It's all crossing patterns, and I hate it. You know, I, I, I wish he would throw that 15 yard out that Peyton and Reggie Wayne just been known for. Like, make that throw every single game. Make the throw that makes me fear playing you. Nobody in the league fears playing the Patriots. Or they don't fear playing Tom Brady. They fear playing the Patriots. You know That's what? what they fear because of that system. You know why they don't fear playing the Patriots and Tom Brady? Because he doesn't fold in clutch period, in clutch moments. That's why they don't fear playing the Colts. Think about if Tom Brady was on those Indianapolis Colts team that had Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, Marcus Pollard, 
uh, the uh, the white Clark. I'm sorry, the um, Clark, the 44. Uh, I can't remember the tight end's name. Um, the white. The white. No, it wasn't the white Clark. The yeah, 44. Right. Um, the white Clark. <laughs> and you uh-huh. also look at in the back of Edwin James. All the talent they had on that roster, all first round picks. So Dallas Clark, that's his name. All Dallas, first, Dallas. all first round picks. Imagine Brady in that offense, how many Super Bowls they would have won with the Colts. Now imagine Peyton Manning with the Patriots, they would have won no Super Bowls. So it's Tom Brady. Tom Brady has that it factor. I think Brady is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. He can go to a team, let's say like Cleveland, and make it happen. Why? Because he's done it before with the Patriots. Those Patriots wide receivers weren't world beaters. Gibbons, Troy Brown. Well, I like Troy Brown, but he, he's not, you know, a house. He's not Isaac Bruce. He's not Marvin Harrison. So, you know, you got to give Tom Brady his credit. But, but that's a good point. You know, he didn't have those receivers because he don't need those receivers as a system. And there's a reason why he wasn't playing in Michigan. There's a reason why he wasn't playing. But every time they needed him to step up, guess who came in the game and won those games and, and bought Michigan back? It was Drew Henson. I'm saying in the beginning, there's a reason why he wasn't that man. He couldn't, he couldn't beat out Drew Bledsoe for a reason. It's, 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 it's a system that Belichick puts over there. So, and I ask you a question. If he goes to New England, I mean, if he goes to Indianapolis, I don't think he does the same thing because Indianapolis is a vertical team. It always has been. And Tom Brady isn't that vertical pass. He's not that throw down the field. You know, he's not that, that 25 yard post route. He can't throw that skinny post like Peyton Manning throws it. He, 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 he's not that guy. He's the guy to throw you the seven the seven yard out route to Wes Welker or the, or the, or the drag route right across the middle to, to Aaron Hernandez. Hopefully, it used to be Aaron Hernandez, but he's that guy. He's that guy to make the right decisions. But as far as to, to lead a team and to be that Peyton Manning, put it all on my shoulders, I'm going to get it done. I don't think he's that guy. He's going to take credit for it. He's going to be given all the credit for all these Super Bowls. But at the end of the day, the very next quarterback that comes in there is going to pick up right where he left off. They're going to take all of that, that heat off, off, of, off, of, uh, off of old Brady guy. Well, what if they just pick good quarterbacks? I'm just saying. like, like So so you got to give some credit to you know, those guys being good. But let's leave the debate right here. We're going to let you, the fans, at the bottom of the video vote who won, whether you think Tom Brady is overrated or whether you think he's not overrated or what do you think me or the coach won the vote I mean won the the, uh, debate let us know at the bottom of the screen and if you want to debate either one of us hit us up on Twitter you can hit me up at at FBall Game Plan and you can hit our coach Lehman Anderson up on Twitter at Anderson Pitts with the hashtag debate me so you vote at the bottom of the video who won this debate